Yo, what is going on guys? This is Michael Shear, your second favorite tour host. And today I have a mindset theory on like entrepreneurship and kind of how did it get started because I personally believe that without a good mindset, um, you just won't get anywhere, period, in life, much less as an entrepreneur. So kind of as a precursor to what I have plans for maybe starting this summer, is starting a podcast and I'm going to be calling it uh, What Made You. And I thought of this because everybody starts somewhere and we always had a, a, a maybe a moment or maybe a process that we went through that completely changed how we think about things or even how we go about doing our normal routines and our, our daily life events. So what I wanted to do for this is maybe uh, bring on high level thinkers. And that doesn't have to necessarily be like the big wigs or whatever that may be, just like small business owners, or maybe even just like a, a managers of banks, uh, you know, somebody that got to the next level, just, not just being your normal uh, everyday employee, because uh, hopefully this doesn't hurt anybody's feelings, but anybody can be an employee. Anybody can do that. Uh, but very, very few people can take it to the next level of creating a new business or being a higher level person with in the business because not everybody's meant to be a business creator please believe it is quite all right to build yourself up within a business and be a high level earner a high level thinker within a business because not everybody's meant or built for entrepreneurship but uh, this podcast will be made for those high level people and hopefully there's something that uh, if you're thinking hey this might be my next route i want to get into management i want to get into that C-suite kind of life, uh, living that lifestyle, making that income that maybe this podcast uh, that I'm looking at potentially starting here soon uh, will fuel your fire and desire and maybe teach you some things that can go that route. So, you know, let's jump into it. Like, what made me? And because let's be real, I ain't that high level earner just yet. I am a high level thinker. So let's kind of think in this. In that point of view, I love entrepreneurship. I absolutely have a massive passion for creating new things. Um, I love the freedom. I love the ability to uh, create something that has value or do something that has value. Um, so I, I kind of break it down in two different separate things. So there's, there's a character part of yourself that made you, and then there's this entrepreneurial spirit or finance portion that created you as well. How do you think through different things? So let's kind of go into character. So for me, just specifically, uh, what built my character? What gave me integrity? What is? Where did I get my ethics from? And I will start off with. Uh, you know, for my grandmother. So I grew up with my grandmother. I've seen this lady work two jobs, like endlessly, trying to make sure that her grandson made it into this thing that we call life. Uh, you know, my, my mother passed away when I was one years old and or one year old. <laughs> and uh, my father was just not in the picture at that time. I, I don't know what happened there. Uh, you know, things can come up from there. Uh, but this lady decided, made a decision that even though her daughter was not there, that she was going to take care of her grandson. Like, where, so where do I get that responsibility from? Taking action, massive action. You know, it's not easy taking on a whole nother human being. You've already, like my grandmother, she raised two kids already, much less taking care of another at an older age where she's not able to move around as much. You're not able to uh, be in a place like that as much. But, you know, she did what she could to raise me. So I get a lot of my ethics. 
I get a lot of my ethics from my grandmother. I get a lot of my integrity from my grandmother. I get a lot of my hard work and grit from my grandmother. Uh, another place, uh, once I got saved, uh, I am a Christian, and I believe that Jesus Christ is the one who gave me the integrity piece. What do I do whenever nobody else is looking? How do I act? How do I respond? What am I doing in private that affects the public? How do I deal with my finances? How do I deal with people? How do I deal with a wife and kids? Do you know there is morals that go along with a faith that I believe only Jesus can bring on? I personally would easily be the one that would go out and be reckless. Be reckless with money, be reckless with the relationships, be reckless with whatever. Uh, but after becoming saved and seeing what he has done for me, it just makes me have this pride on the inside of like, I'm going to be the light for him instead of it for myself. Because I've already experienced and done everything that's in the world and I have found out what comes out of it. And so I am ready to take action as my grandmother put on to me, the ethic, that grit, that massive action taking, and put that into my faith. And so I get a lot of my ethics, morals, and everything from my faith. Uh, and then lastly, uh, a lot of my character is built from experiences in my past. Uh, going through school or uh, moving, I've moved so much in my 20s. I, I probably lived in <laughs> at least nine different places in my 20s, I would say. Uh, moved to Oklahoma City when I was 19. I had two or two places there. I moved to California whenever I was 21. I lived in one place out there. I moved back into Southern Illinois at the age of 23. Moved, uh, then I went to college and got onto a basketball team. And man, Talk about a place to learn even more passion. Like, uh, I actually just played basketball purely for the ability to have food and tuition paid for. There was a lot of better people than me. I'm not saying I'm not good. I'm just saying that at the time, I was not as talented as those people. But because the coach seen that determination, seen that grit, seen that work ethic that I have, that I, I bring to the table, he w he offered me a scholarship. Boom. Tuition paid for, food paid for. And so that, I say, is kind of rounds out where is my experience coming from and what builds my character? How do I treat my family now? How do I treat my wife now? How do I treat my kids now? How do I treat the people around me? How will, will I treat my employees once I do get them? You know, there, there's a lot of questions that I believe I've already answered ahead of time and I'm prepared for now. Uh, so entrepreneurship and thinking of like what got that in me, what got this finance and this uh, this will to work for myself from is just that when I was out in California that I just spoke of, I seen money. I seen a lot of money. And it's so funny that the same thing I was doing in Oklahoma City, I was being paid for out in California for about three times more. I was getting paid at that time, I think roughly nine fifty an hour. I moved out to California and I was making upwards of $30 an hour doing, if not less, than I was in Oklahoma City. And I thought that was just so interesting. I started seeing Porsches. I started seeing Ferraris and, and Lamborghinis on a daily, on a daily. This was a very normal thing, which started sparking that in me. Like, I, there's got to be a way to get to this. There's got to be something that I can do that will produce the outcome that all these other people have freely, normally. It was, it was almost as if you were not normal if <laughs> driving a Honda Accent, right? Like I had. So I started seeing other people's lifestyles. I see in the colleges that they went to, the degrees that they got. So that's why I went back to college. I went and got a finance degree because I believe that that is the route. Accounting and finance would get me to the place that I could 
uh, flourish and be wealthy hopefully one day. And so I did get my degree. I got my finance degree from Southern Illinois University of Carbondale. Uh, and I've had that for the past, you know, I got back in 2014. So here we are. My goodness, it's almost 10 years from then. But, you know, here, here it is. But that's kind of just a snippet of what, what I want to cover whenever I actually do start getting into the podcast and asking people and other entrepreneurs and, and high level people of what made them. And what I would like to do for this is if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe. The most important thing is though, leave a comment. Tell me if you got this far, there's a reason you got this far and there's a reason that you're still listening is that you feel the same way. You have a story to tell, and I want you to tell me in the comments down below what made you. Maybe my story kind of helps you out understand who I am uh, in the kind of YouTube uh, channel that you are watching and getting into the turtle business and getting into flipping houses and, and doing Amazon FBA or just trying to create your own, trying to create your own path. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of essentially this YouTube channel is just a vlog of that and me trying to help others in the process. How do we get credit? How do we get other credit cards? What do we do when applying for loans? How often do we, should we do that? What does the credit repair even look like? I haven't really got into that. And maybe just go to others and do your own research in that port, in that, ugh, in that, at that part. But guys, I do plan on having this podcast out here very shortly. Uh, I want to just see what other people are doing. Maybe it'll help me. And definitely, I know for a fact it will help you. So guys, catch you next time. Thank you for watching all the way through and I will see you later.